Welcome to the Real News Network. I'm Sharmini Pires coming to you from Baltimore. Iranians have been going to the polls today in one of the most hotly contested presidential elections in Iran for years. The runoff has been a tight race between the incumbent, considered moderate in Iranian terms, a cleric uh, Hassan Rouhani and the hardline cleric, judge and former prosecutor Ibrahim Raisi. Joining us today to discuss the Iranian elections and the policies of the two candidates is Mohammad Sahimi. Mohammed is a professor at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles and analyst of Iran's political developments and their relations within the rest of the Middle East. He's also a co-founder and editor of the new website, Iran News and Middle East Reports. He has been writing regularly about the Iranian elections in Farsi, and his most recent article in English is titled, Iran's deep state could unseat Rouhani with a Khomeini-backed hardliner in the upcoming elections. Professor, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me back in your program. So, Professor, um, give us a sense of what the polls are saying and what's going on in Iran, as far as this election is concerned, I understand the deadline has been extended. Yes, the daily tracking poll that was being published every day for about two weeks uh, and was published last night indicated that Hassan Rouhani, the current president, is ahead of his uh, rival, uh, Ibrahim Raisi, by a margin of two to one. Uh, close to 80% of the people had said that they would vote. Normally, if the turnout is that high, then moderates and uh, reformists uh, win easily. But in this particular election, there has been a lot of concern that the hardliners, backed by uh, the IRGC, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, and other hardline factions, may try to commit fraud and steal the elections. So there, there has been a lot of concern about many Iranians, and although, as I said, the polls indicate that Rouhani should win easily, we will not know until probably Saturday morning Tehran time, which will be late uh, tonight uh, in, in the United States. All right. And uh, give us a sense uh, for who is supporting uh, the conservative candidate, Ibrahim Raisi, when it comes to Iranian uh, political divisions within the country? Uh, Raisi is uh, supported by uh, the IRGC, uh, the Basij militia that is controlled by IRGC, and hardline uh, clerics, and what I call uh, the deep state. Uh, in Iran, the deep state consists of uh, a lot of uh, secret and semi-secret networks of intelligence, security, and military officers and agents, um, and their backers in various factions. They normally don't uh, speak publicly, but they control a lot of things behind the scene. They also have a lot of influence um, uh, in the economic sector. Uh, the IRGC engineering arm uh, has received uh, tens of billions of dollars worth of uh, projects from the previous administration. And therefore, they, their economic might is also um, very powerful. And they have been spending lavishly for uh, Raisi's campaign in order to buy votes. Uh, they have even been sending people to uh, small villages and towns, giving them uh, uh, cash gifts and other things in order to buy their votes. So Raisi is uh, supported by this powerful uh, uh, faction. But at the same time, because of his hardline uh, positions and his uh, background over the past 38 years since the Iranian Revolution, uh, when, as you uh, pointed out, he was a judge and prosecutor and uh, had, a, had a hand in uh, many executions, particularly in the 1960s, sorry, in the 1980s, right after the end of Iran-Iraq war, when 4,000 uh, political prisoners were executed. And he was a member of the committee that decided the fate of those uh, 4,000 uh, political prisoners. Uh, he's despised by a, a wide uh, variety and array of political groups that align themselves with reformists and modern. 
All right. Uh, so as people are headed to the polls uh, today, uh, what is on their mind? What are they most concerned about? And uh, what will be a sort of a decisive factor for them in terms of who they vote for, Raisi or Rouhani? Uh, three main issues have been discussed during the campaign, although Raisi has tried to uh, only uh, discuss and debate one one issue, and that's the economic issue. Uh, the Iranian economy is not in good shape. When uh, Rouhani came to power, uh, some of the uh, the tightest sanctions had been imposed on Iran by the United States and its allies, and the uh, rampant uh, corruption in the Mahmoud Ahmadinejad administration had basically emptied the national treasury. Uh, the inflation was running between 40 to 40, 40 to 50 percent. Uh, there was a deep recession and the unemployment was high. Rouhani has been able to stabilize the economy. The inflation is now below 7 percent a year. Uh, the employment has improved somewhat, but not as much as uh, people had hoped for. Uh, and uh, so just like here, when after 2008, we had an economic recovery, but this economic recovery wasn't really even and wasn't touched by a lot of people. The same thing has happened in Iran. So that's one issue. The other issue is uh, um, basically social and personal freedom, uh, freedom of press, freedom of thought, uh, freedom of gathering together, freedom of uh, protesting against uh, the wrong policies of the government and the hardliners. And the third issue is where Iran stands uh, in the Middle East and its relation with the rest of the Middle East. Uh, we know Middle East is on fire, uh, that there's a lot of blood uh, and destruction and killing in the rest of the Middle East. And therefore people are worried that somehow this uh, war of destruction and bloodshed will spread to Iran. Uh, so these are the main three issues. And in all three issues, uh, Rouhani, uh, has promised people uh, a better future. Of course, Raisi has promised the same thing, but if you look at the, the, the policies that they, are, uh, they have been proposing, we see that there is a vast difference between the two factions that uh, if you want, we can discuss it in more detail. All right, uh, Professor, the uh, results of this uh, election is going to be probably announced shortly. And uh, we will come back to you uh, uh, as soon as the results are made in order for us to continue our discussion and do some analysis of the winner. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me and your program again. And thank you for joining us here on The Real News Network.